How does music influence the intimate atmosphere? Is there an orgasm gene? Discover the science behind pleasure. Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Music can influence the intimate atmosphere by setting the tone and creating a romantic ambience. The choice of music may vary according to individual preferences and can be used to enhance sensuality in the bedroom. There is no specific orgasm gene. The experience of orgasm is a complex process involving a combination of biological, psychological, and social factors. Genetics can influence sexual sensitivity, but there is no single gene determining the ability to reach orgasm. Anorgasmia and Multidisciplinary Approach Effective treatment of anorgasmia often requires a multidisciplinary approach involving mental health professionals, medical doctors, and sexual therapists to address the physical, emotional, and psychological aspects of the disorder. Anorgasmia and physical exercise. Regular physical exercise can help improve sexual function and reduce symptoms of anorgasmia by increasing blood circulation, reducing stress, and enhancing self-esteem. Anorgasmia and sexual therapy. Sexual therapy, which may include sensate focus techniques, cognitive behavioral therapy, and sexual education, is a common approach to treating anorgasmia and improving sexual response. Anorgasmia. Related to trauma, past traumatic experiences, such as sexual abuse or violence, can contribute to the development of anorgasmia in some individuals due to the association of sex with negative experiences. Antibiotic resistance. Some bacteria that cause STDs, such as gonorrhea, are developing resistance to commonly used antibiotics, making treatment more difficult. Asymptomatic. Many STDs may not present immediate symptoms, meaning that individuals can be infected without knowing it and unintentionally transmit the disease. Balloon fetishism. In this fetish, individuals find sexual arousal from inflating, touching, or even popping balloons, either in real life or represented. Body confidence. Feeling confident and comfortable in one's body can greatly impact a woman's willingness to experiment with different sexual positions and embrace her sexuality more fully. In Brazil, Specific sexual education programs have been developed to address HIV-AIDS prevention in indigenous and Afro-descendant communities, recognizing social and ethnic inequalities in sexual and reproductive health. Breastfeeding fetishism. Some people experience sexual arousal by observing or participating in breastfeeding during sexual activities. This fetish may be related to the maternal connection and intimacy of breastfeeding. Breathing techniques. Synchronized breathing with the partner during foreplay can intensify the emotional and physical connection, creating a more intimate and satisfying sexual experience for both parties. Care and maintenance. It is important to properly care for sex toys to ensure their safety and durability. This may include regular cleaning with warm water and soap, as well as storing them in a cool, dry place. Child access. Despite efforts to restrict access to pornography for minors, many children and adolescents still have access to online pornographic content, raising concerns about their sexual education and emotional well-being. Cinematic Adaptations Several films have been inspired by the Kama Sutra, exploring its teachings and visually representing its sexual positions in a stimulating manner. Co-infections it is possible to contract more than one STD at the same time. For example, chlamydia and gonorrhea are commonly diagnosed together due to their similarity in transmission and symptoms. Communication and trust. Foreplay is an ideal time to strengthen communication and trust between partners. Openly discussing desires, boundaries, and preferences can enhance the sexual experience and emotional connection. Comprehensive sexual education. Comprehensive sexual education addresses a wide range of topics related to sexuality, including anatomy, reproduction, healthy relationships, consent,
contraception and prevention of sexually transmitted diseases with the aim of promoting healthy and safe sexuality. Congenital syphilis. On the rise. Congenital syphilis, which occurs when an infected pregnant woman transmits the disease to her baby, is on the rise in several countries, highlighting the importance of timely diagnosis and treatment during pregnancy. Contemporary debates. The Kama Sutra continues to generate debates and discussions in contemporary society, especially regarding its relevance, its gender representation, and its application in modern intimacy. Control positions. Some women enjoy positions where they have more control over the pace and depth of penetration, such as reverse cowgirl or modified spooning, allowing them to explore their sexuality more actively. Couple therapy. Couple therapy can be beneficial in addressing premature ejaculation as it can help improve communication, reduce anxiety, and develop joint strategies to overcome the problem. Courses and workshops. Practical courses and workshops based on the Kama Sutra are offered, where couples can learn new sexual techniques and positions under the guidance of experts in the field. Cultural differences in sexual practices. Sexual practices vary widely among different cultures and societies, influenced by factors such as religion, history, and social norms. What may be considered taboo in one culture may be accepted in another, and vice versa. Cultural influence on masturbation. Attitudes toward female masturbation can vary depending on cultural and sexual education received, with some societies being more open and others more conservative about it. Cultural taboos. Although attitudes toward sex toys are changing, cultural taboos still exist in many parts of the world. However, an increasing number of people are adopting an open and positive attitude toward their use. Curable and chronic STDs. Some STDs, such as chlamydia, gonorrhea, and syphilis, are curable with proper treatment, while others, such as HIV and genital herpes, are incurable and require long-term management. Decorative items. Decorative elements inspired by the Kama Sutra, such as figurines, paintings, and sculptures, are popular for those wishing to incorporate sensuality and erotic art into their home. In countries like Iceland and Denmark, sexual education is included in the school curriculum from an early age, aiming to promote healthy relationships and prevent gender-based violence. Distraction. Techniques. Some men use distraction techniques, such as thinking about something unrelated to sex, to delay ejaculation and prolong pleasure during sexual intercourse. Diversity of configurations. There is no one way to have an open relationship. Some couples may choose to have strict rules about who they can have sexual relationships with, while others may allow more freedom and flexibility. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.